Hey everybody, Hofstadter here and welcome to Egypt Pre-Civilization. This game was released today on Steam and it is available for about $8 USD. I had a fill with this for about half an hour and I thought it was pretty good, I'm actually kind of impressed. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is showing you this game for about 20 minutes or so, showing you how it works. And I really hope you do look at this game and pick it up because it's kind of cool. So we'll start a new game, and this is what I really like about the initial difficulty choosing. Basically you have four settings to choose from in regards to difficulty, where it's the easiest at the top and hardest at the bottom. So at the first one we have who are ancestors, and this basically sets up the story sort of very loosely in regards to how difficulty is going to go. So you have your, your beginners, and it has growth to 20 production, in its medium difficulty it has growth to 10 to army, and at its hardest you have losses minus 10 to culture. I'm not really sure what culture does so far. You have how do we get here which is which lowers the cost of workers, no bonuses, and increases the cost of workers in buildings. So we also have a very food rich area, not so food rich area, scarce, um, and this dictates your luck. So basically we have growth, built work, resources, luck. So we're going to go with, let's say, medium difficulty, growth 10 to plus army. We're going to also have wanderers as well, keep it interesting. Thank you, we'll, also, we'll keep it uh, pretty easy in regards to food, and it will have no bonus penalties in regards to luck. So let's get this started. Alright, so as you can tell, it's quite a colourful little thing, and you get missions throughout this game. So our first mission is to increase the tribe to three workers. I think we only have one so far. This will give us bonus to one one time hunting and will only happen for I think five turns? I'm not sure what that means there. So basically to use workers you have this little card down here and it shows your idle workers. So we have this little lazy fuck down here. You grab your worker, hold down the card and put it on a tile and now we'll get plus one food every turn. We have the workers up here, and this is our maximum population. You have your numbers of turns, and turns are pretty simple. They take less than a second. So now we're going to move over to this territory here to take a look at what's going to ha what's over there. We have an eye which says it's undiscovered, and the amount of turns it will take to find out what's over there. So we'll move over, see if we can't find anything. And there is two foods, so obviously it would be more prudent to start working on that set of farmland over there. And now that we have, we have enough food, I think, how much does this cost? We have saved enough food to make more workers. There we go. Now I want to get, since the first mission is met workers, I want to concentrate on producing as much food as I can. I think, hang on, these were... Oh, so we have resources production and culture production. Um, I think you just can just build around things with that. And culture lets you discover uh, new things, uh, basically your research tree. So we're just going to keep advancing forward to produce food. Holy crap! Okay, so we have a bunch of jackals and they want to steal our food. At first they seem weak and they're impudent, don't know what that means. I don't want to flee, don't want to... Frightened, but since they're weak, I'll attack. There we go. They fucked off, and now we can find some more. F they won't steal our food. All right, discoveries. Now this is basically your research. The higher the population there is, the more you can research, which is down here. We have three unks, which is up here. So we're generating two every turn. So each one here costs four. And we have four total. So what do we want? We can choose to domesticate animals, we can choose a god, which is cult of the falcon, or we can do domestication of dogs. What I'm going to do is do cult of the falcon first, that way we'll get unks more quickly and be able to research. Now, let's just keep going forward until I get some more workers. How much will it cost? It'll cost seven. So I'll have access to him next turn. <laughs> There we go, now we have one, what? Discover experimental farming and build a field of grain in two areas. Cool. So, 
we want to use these and we can do experimental farming and it costs 12 and we have 16. There we go, so that is discovered. What's this? Let me go to Oh, so there's something called the Merrimandei culture ahead of me, but they're uh, up north and they're kind of overtaking me in terms of development. So we have six construction points and what I want to do is build a field of grain. So that's going to build over here, I think. Now we have two slots, so we'll move them over here. Wait, which one is what? I'm not too sure. Okay, I'm not sure which either slot does, but we'll put them in building. I think it will build in the next turn. We also have four unks, so we will do this one. And now we can get plus one growth every turn. Unfortunately, we're not making enough food right now, so hopefully in the next next few turns when the... What's happening? Okay, there we go. We now are producing a lot more food because he's working in a field with a bonus, which is pretty nifty. Now we're going to do in... Can't we do that? No, I guess we can't. Right, so I guess I just have to keep waiting until I can get another worker. Okay, so we have a hostile tribe. Not sure we can what we can do at this point. One time three plus research. Okay, we have a lot of research. So we'll do domestic dogs. And this one so we can get more growth. I really want to build up that field. Oh crap, Lion Tribe wants to burn our settlement, you cunts. Okay, so we can either be confronted with them or increase the tribe to five so they can see we have a lot more people and we are dangerous. There is not a chance in hell that we are going to become friends with them in that amount of time. Oh god, it's 50% chance of getting attacked, awesome. No, I wanted to, I wanted to research. Okay, we'll build a field next. Can I choose where? No, yes, no, maybe so. Right, we'll explore this territory next. Now, what is here? Absolutely nothing. Cool. Alright, I probably completely forgot about that car just sitting there in the idle workers section. Oh, nice, we can start farming over there too. Can I build yet? No, I can't, apparently. Right, we have tons of research, so we'll get some more growth. Um, can't do any of that yet, though. And now I can get another worker up. Cool, so we will investigate over... Where do I want to investigate? Let's investigate across the river, see what's over there. Spirits of Sahara. Yes, it is a good, good chance to hunt, so let's have a go at that. Cool. So that means every turn now we'll have hunting plus two. Alright, so we have an idle worker, and we'll keep exploring because we're happy with the way production is going. Alright, we have research, so now we can do something else. So we have early rituals, we can do growth in work slaves, I think, every turn. Um, can do build houses, and we'll build houses. I like the idea of building houses. Okay, so, oh cool, now we can build more things. So now we'll do Field of Grain Area 2, and that's going to build over here. At least I think that's how it works. Not 100% sure. Oh my god, I have an idle worker. Oh, I know what I'm looking at. It's idle worker versus construction. Duh. We are attacked in case of defeat. Our loss is minus 3. Um, probability of success 63. Let's have a go. Victory, but we lost 2 people, and we have... Minus 50% chance of battle. That was unfortunate, we lost quite a lot of people. But, I can get more. So, I don't really care. Oh, I can easily get more. Cool. There we go, we have lots of farming. Now we have permanent housing as well. Let's see what else we can build. Let's get some more housing, because I'm going to need to build up a lot more. There we go. Now, in research, I still don't have enough. I just want to focus on constructing up things myself right now. Oh crap, what's that? Um, six buildings. Oh dear. Um, there we go. Five people. Let's set him, send him over here. 
I think that's everybody doing something. Alright, so let's go over here. Um, he's still building, I'm not sure... I'm not 100% sure how productivity works, which is a little bit unfortunate. It looks kind of bad on my part, so I guess I'm just... Oh cool, now I have another card. So let's explore across the river a bit more. Please, the local tribes have gathered and decided to build a sanctuary for the sacred falcon, but they could not agree on which settlement to erect. Having argued, the leaders decided the way they settled would be the one which could finish construction. Oh, cool! So we can build the sanctuary of the falcon because they like us. Apparently, it likes us. Um. Okay, so I have to start it building it in the menu as soon as possible. How do I do that? Not 100% sure how. Um, is it in here? Sanctuary of the Falcon. Yep, there it is. Build. Okay, Sanctuary of the Falcon. I shall put... Um, this guy over here. They hope to put... 15 turns? Oh my god. We'll send over 10 food. Oh my god. I'm not, not going to be able to finish in time because I don't have enough frickin' production. Alright, so I guess I'll send him over here. And... Oh, I can't... And this one over here. I think this is how it works, I don't know. My friend keeps sending me messages over Steam, but... I don't know how to do production. Oh, I think this is it. I, this little thing over here. I think I'm being a dickhead about it. But since the uh, sanctuary is so big, that takes a lot of growth required. All right, so now I can do cults. Okay, cults. Uh, not 100% sure how this works, be honest. So we can do falcon. We'll do accelerate the building. There we go. Now, how long is this going to take? Not too sure. Alright, can I discover anything more? And that gave me growth one to cult every turn. Now, how long is construction going to take? Um, cost 6 and 15 turns, but I don't know how long. Ugh. I'm not going to be able to finish in time. Well, I know they've built it. Come on, give me a break. Okay, four. All right. <laughs> Looks like we're going to end up building. Oh, wait, no, I'll build it first. Ah, suck it. What? Of course I have to be the first. Come on. Give it to me. Give it to me. I want it. Give it to me. Yeah, I built the sanctuary. That is a shitty sanctuary. Oh my god, it took you that many turns to build up a freaking fence in a hut? Come on! I have to get silver victory? I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Okay. Um, so I guess you can do this cult thing every so often when you build up this. Okay, anyway, I'm going to end this video now. Uh, if you enjoyed this content, uh, pick up this game. It's really, really fun. If you enjoyed this, uh, please give a like, give a subscribe, and I hope you have a fantastic day.